Japanese university students have studied English for many years at middle and high school. Many students know a lot of English words and grammar. Some students can read quite difficult English. Their English test scores may even be very good. However, there are three major problems with much of the English learning in middle and high school. These problems mean that the typical Japanese university student cannot speak English very well. This is a problem because the target of learning English is to use English, and that usually means to speak English. After all, when you meet a Japanese, a non-Japanese person, you don't ask them if they can read Japanese. You ask them if they can speak Japanese. Let's look at the three main problems. For the first one, remember the four main skill areas in English. Speaking, listening, reading and writing. Speaking and writing are called active skills because they involve making new language. Listening and reading are called passive skills because students work on comprehending language that is already made by someone else. Both active and passive skills are difficult. I'm not saying that active skills are more difficult or that passive skills are less important. However, when our target is speaking, we see that the active skill practice is highly important. The second problem is that much of English learning is done in Japanese. Many students can explain English in Japanese, but they can't make the English without a lot of effort. Students learn about English in Japanese. They don't learn how to use English. Learning about English is one type of learning. Learning how to use English is another type of learning. Technically, this is called the difference between declarative and procedural skills. Practicing procedural skills, that is, doing skills, is more important than learning about English in Japanese. The third and final problem is about the direction of your middle and high school study. Much of the time, students translate from English to Japanese. Translation is not a bad way to study English, but actually translating from Japanese to English is more helpful. Using English at a high level means that you need to be able to think in English directly, not always translate from English to Japanese. The direction of translation is very important. So, we can say that after years of middle and high school English study, these three problems stop many university students becoming good users of English. In these classes, we will practice active skills, especially speaking. We will not study about English rules or grammar so much, although some grammar is important, and we will practice keeping the direction into English. Let's have fun and become good English speakers.